Thanks for joining us today, everybody. I thought I would start with probably the, one of the most popular reports for incident management, a simple time series analysis based on the BMC Remedy ITSM 7.6 applications, which is the most heavily used today. So let's get started. We're going to begin with making a connection to the cube if you haven't already. Remember, if you've done this one time, then uh, you can certainly do that pretty easily. So we select our cube and we're going to use the incident management cube. Um, you can choose to give this a friendly name. I highly recommend that. Um, sometimes some people like to keep the server name in there just so they remember it for, for later. But these uh, connection files really should be stored on SharePoint and not on your desktop so that you can share them with others. That's something to keep in mind. Let us know if you need uh, us to configure that for you. And uh, we're going to go ahead and begin the report. So the first thing we want to do um, when creating a time series analysis is pick our discrete count metric. You could use something like closed incidents, critical or high. Um, I'm going to choose total. That's probably the most heavily used metric and a good one to start with. So we'll click total incidents. Okay. Um, next, we kind of need to figure out where our data is. Um, I've got an older data set here, so um, bear with me. But we want to use submit date most likely because submit date has come across all the process areas in Remedy. Um, and we're going to choose more fields. I think really one of the best ways to do a time series analysis is by month. That's the most common common way to look at this. And uh, um, so, so we've got all of our incidents there, and we can see that this is in uh, November 2011. I like to view these uh, months as rows. A little bit easier for me to look at, especially if you have multiple years of data, which is common. Okay, then the next thing we would do is highlight by hitting Control A. That's what I did. Highlight the entire pivot chart, and we're going to go ahead and insert our time series analysis chart by hitting the Insert tab, and then choosing a line chart. You can you can choose uh, one of the um, you can choose one of the uh, quick access charts or you can just bring up all of our options here for a pivot chart. Line is the first one that uh, that comes out. Click OK and there you go. You've got your very simple to create time series analysis and we'll call it incidents. Oh, incidents total and this could be for 2011. What I would probably want to do though really is add in a slicer and we'll show you how to do that in another video. But add in a slicer that gives you the ability to highlight the year, um, quarter, or month so that you can choose a date range that is adjustable. Date range that is adjustable. Um, one additional thing you might want to add to this, and this will not make the chart look nice, um, so I'll go ahead and remove that, is add some drill down capability. So let's say you wanted to drill down and see um, which particular categorizations each month were occurring, I could simply drag in one of my hierarchies here from the cube. And uh, that gives you that ability to drill down into the incident. So that's a nice first one to start with. I, I added a second little piece right at the end that gives you the drill down. You're going to be using that quite a bit, so I figured I would uh, show you that. Also know that if you start adding in these additional features, it, it may mess up the look and feel of your chart. So be careful about that. Uh, well, thanks for your time. And let me know if you have any questions about how to create a time series chart or any.